Hello, it's John Wilcox. Today is October the 24th, 2020. And um, let's see, I could talk about the usual. I, I guess I should mention I, I made just a terrific, for example, in this past week, a terrific beef stroganoff. I was so pleased with. Oh, that was so good. But um, what I'd like to talk about is uh, most importantly, this past week, I lost one of my dearest friends, Bob Weber Sr., who I've known since the early 80s. And Bob was 86 when he passed. For about the past year, he had had a bunch of bouts of pneumonia and other stuff. And um, very sad to lose him. What a terrific guy. Um, you know, a peer, he's a, another cartoonist, Bob, uh, for many years. Uh, did a, a wonderful comic strip called Moose, which he later retitled uh, Moose and Molly. It ran all over the place. And um, I had the uh, distinct honor uh, in later years of every now and then Bob would put my name in the strip. There would be a, a boss throwing Moose out of a job, and the boss's name was John Wilcox or Bill Collector or his daughter's boyfriend or who who knows I I was I was in there a whole bunch of times and um, great thing about that by the way to, to to make it even nicer is if I had asked Bob to put me in the strip I, I'm sure he would have you know because uh, he was generous to a fault just a wonderful guy but the very fact that I never even thought to ask him but he thought to put me in there was such an honor I was very touched by that. And uh, it was just, just really neat. And my whole family saw it, and that meant a lot to me. And I know I, I shared some with, with uh, some of you that are, are seeing this um, in the past. Uh, it's a great honor. Um, my thoughts of Bob are beyond... Well, let me, before we get to that, let, let me talk a little bit about Bob, the artist and the writer. He was just wonderful... Never, I don't think, appreciated to the degree that he ought to be because he's just terrific. Um, his layouts, clean, so very well designed. And if you if you look into it, you see all that's there. These, these wonderful little touches. Hey, why is that duck over there? Because it can be. Um, and, and everything oozes personality. Uh, and and it feels alive sometimes you'll see a, a strip and it's you know it's fine but it's kind of stiff but not Bob his stuff had uh, just a definite life to it and was always a joy uh, to look at and to read his gags were always funny his gags were very one of a kind too you know it was a vibe to Moose that was just great and I, I, I think that I could see bits of kind of Bob's look at the world, if you will, through his strip. But uh, I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss him. Great guy. We always had fun. Always. You know, we were, he would call me up and say, hey, John, you know, uh, I had this idea. This thing's coming to town. Let's, let's go see it. Okay. You know, and, and I'd find myself in, once I found myself in Queens, he said they were going to have a an event at this place. I think it was, a, it was the Museum of the Moving Image, whatever it is that's in, in Queens. And we end up in Queens to, to uh, this event where there's all these people that were in uh, 40s movie serials. And so we get there and it's completely sold out. But Bob convinced them, you know, we've come all the way. And uh, before I knew it, we had a couple of chairs sitting inside. You know, they set them up just for us. And we had a great time. We met uh, Nyoka, Queen of the Jungle. I met Kirk Allen, who was um, the first Superman live action ever. He was in the Superman serials. I met, uh, well, we met uh, Henry Brandon, who... Um, he was in the wonderful uh, John Ford movie, The Searchers. He was also in The Little Rascals as a dastardly character named Barnaby, who he was also that same character in uh, the... They, they still show it in, in this area, 
uh, every holiday uh, under the titles either Babes in Toyland or March of the Wooden Soldiers with Laurel and Hardy. And that guy, he was terrific. And so I would have never had experiences like that, but for Bob. And, you know, he, he just always wanted to have new experiences and a good time and fun. And we did that. The last time I saw him was um, last year. Uh, I was over at Whole Foods on the Westport Norwalk line. And I gave him a call and I said, hey, Bob, we're going to be at Whole Foods having catching a bite to eat. Why don't you join me? And he did. He joined me for like an hour and a half, two hours until I had to, to, to leave. And we had a great time, as always, talking about, oh, you got to see this, John. You got to have you have. Do you know about this? Here's an interesting thing. And uh, so th shortly after that is when he started having uh, pneumonia. Uh, he had several bouts of pneumonia. And that's, you know, that was in, in the end what, what uh, was a huge factor in, in uh, his un untimely passing. So, so many things to say. Um, never enough space to properly say it huge influence on my life um something i don't i don't know that i talk about enough and um i also lost my friend joe sinnett this year and the commonality is i got into this business at a very young age i was not yet 23 which at 60 now i think how perilously young that was and both joe and bob from the word go, treated me as an equal, as a peer, with respect, and I never, I don't know, because I only really put that together recently, how much that influenced me, uh, the confidence it gave me that these guys treated me on par, um, and I I hope I did my best to deserve that because both of them always worked on the highest, finest level. Uh, Joe as a comic book guy, Bob as a comic strip guy. They both were the top of their game for what they did. Just so, just wonderful. Their work is going to last forever. And, and uh, new generations will, will get to absorb some wonderful, wonderful stuff. But um, I talked with his daughter, his son, one of his sons, and his wife. Um, and we all shared some stories about Bob. And um, he's, you know, he's gone. But I think in my mind, I just think he's just around the corner somewhere and there's going to be some kind of funny thing happening soon. And uh, on top, you know, having said that, I'm going to miss him every day. Uh, uh, loved him a lot. You know, his, I was pleased. His daughter said, oh, my dad loved you so much. Well, that feeling was most assuredly mutual. So um, that's it for this time. I will see you next week. I hope you're all doing well. Please be in touch. And I will talk to you then. Bye-bye.